All right, man, let's talk about Jack Catterall. He defeats Jorge Linares, man, pretty much. You know, Catterall fights at one pace. Um, heard Linares a couple times. Um, so it wasn't much of a surprise. Usually when Linares veer off too far from 35, or a little bit above 35, he come up short. Uh, to me, was always talented, but always overrated. Um, when he stepped up, he lost. He'd go back to Japan and get a whole bunch of, you know, a few wins and then come back and get a few mediocre wins versus a UK bum and then get beat by a top fighter. So it's nothing new. I think at 38 years old, it was time for him to walk away and I talk about his retirement. Um, you know, Catterall, Southpaw, he literally just took his time and, you know, beat Linares. Linares still looked guy. Like he got some fast ass hands though. He called Catterall with some uh he called Catterall with a couple good shots. He just didn't have enough pop at 140 to bother the natural 140 pound uh Jack Catterall. That's just all that shit was. But you know, he called him, you know, he called the Nars with a couple good shots, just wasn't enough no more at 38 years old. He ain't the fighter um that he used to be, but he still got hand speed. But uh, you know, Catterall just boxed him, just took his time, hurt him with some shots. Catterall just one of them dudes who just got and got one one uh speed you know and that's jack catterall speed you know catterall just take his time and surgically dispatch you you know catterall ain't gonna you know he ain't gonna go to a third fourth fifth gear you know what i'm saying sixth gear um uh, even with, with josh taylor when he dropped josh taylor it was just going at jack catterall speed and that's what he did you know stay behind his reach stay behind his jab you know um continue to touch touch Jorge lenares and touch him touch him touch him touch him and Linares kind of, you know, Linares, uh, you know, Linares just, you know, he one of them dudes where he get in a certain in a certain level of fights, man. He just he he come up short. You know, he veer off two five from thirty five. He come up short. You know, and I just think he was older here, but Catterall just boxed him. You know. Touched him, heard him. When he heard him the first time in the middle of the fight, I mean, you know, it was pretty much over with. You know, then he came back to, you know, you know, you, you expect, you know, and for Catterall to be a big time, um, for Catterall to be a big time, you know, uh, fighter to be uh, in that elite status, man, Catterall going to have to learn to be more aggressive and, and step it up a gear. That's just what it is. Catterall going to have to learn to step it up a gear. And that's his problem. Catterall just can't step it up a gear. You got somebody hurt and you want to, you know, entice or be attractive to the Tiafima Lopez. Is you want to be attractive to, um, you know, getting the big fights, the Devin Haney's and those type of guys. You want to attract the Americans that 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 want to follow your career. Then you got to learn how to close the show. You got to learn how to throw punches and bunches. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to learn how to. Be aggressive. You got to learn to step it up. And had he, you know, after he dropped Josh Taylor, had he took it to Josh Taylor, man, he would have stopped Josh Taylor. He would have stopped Josh Taylor had he just took the fight to Josh Taylor. But he didn't. And that's wrong with Catterall. Catterall just take his time. He kind of remind you, like, for people who watch basketball, like Paul George. I mean, like, uh, you know, Paul Pierce. You know? You know, Paul Pierce ain't athletic. He don't ever play too fast, too slow. He play at Paul Pierce speed. That's what he do. He play at Paul Pierce speed. And that's the same thing that's wrong with, uh, you know, uh, Jack Catterall. He just, he got one speed. You know, when you need to, you know, you need to, you doing your smoothie, what you, you want it to be extra coarse, he don't got that third, fourth, fifth speed in the motor. I don't know if he can develop that. A lot of times that's a personality trait. That's a genetic trait or whatever you want to say. That's just what that is. You know, at least, you know, you 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 can hope that he can be a little bit more aggressive. You know what I'm saying? You hope he can be a little bit more aggressive in his attack. And that's been the problem. He ain't been able to be aggressive 
you know, and if he was more aggressive, he'd have better opportunities for bigger and better fights. He'd be a more household name. You know, he'd be a household name. And today you got a 30-year-old man, 30-year-old man. You know what I'm saying? Why not make him feel like a 30-year-old man? That's my thing. Why not make him feel like a 30-year-old man, 38-year-old man, excuse me? And get him the hell up out of there. You know? And, and get him up out of there. But no, he want to sit there just touch, 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 touch. You know what I'm saying? That's all you want to do. That's all you want to do. And, you know, at some point, he he should literally step it up. He should literally step it up. He should literally step it up, bro. Step that speed up. Go for the kill. And that's another thing about British fighters, man. A lot of them just don't have no killer instinct. You know, and that's a big problem, bro. A lot of them dudes don't have no killer instinct. You know, Catterall need to have more of a killer instinct when you in there with the caliber of somebody like Jorge Linares. You know, where's the uh, killer instinct? Where the three, four, five, six hard shots at? You know, where to let's press on the gas. You know, is it a conditioning thing? You know what I'm saying? Is it, you know, I don't trust my win, so I'm going to take my time. You know, or is it just that's his personality trait? And if that's the case, he's going to come up in a lot of big fights, short in a lot of big fights. If that's the case, he's going to come up short in a lot of big fights, especially coming abroad and fighting guys of of, 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 of a certain caliber of name. Because he's not doing enough. He's not a big enough name. He's not doing enough. He's not doing enough to put it over the top to get these wins. Man, he should have retired Jorge Linares uh, tonight. Let's keep it real. He should have sent Jorge Linares packing. Let's keep it real. He should have sent Jorge Linares packing. You know, and I had that old man hanging around all that time during the fight. Just let you know that he lacks the killer instinct. He lacks it. He lacks it. And that's why Jack Catterall may never be a champion. It's not because he's not good enough. This is why Jack Catterall would never be probably a name or a, a, a recognizable name amongst the mass boxing public. You know what I'm saying? He just don't have another speed or he just don't have enough aggression. It'd be nice if he could find both. You know? You pose it, man. It's supposed to be no doubt in your mind. You supposed to send this joker packing. No doubt. He should have sent that joker packing. There shouldn't have been no if and buts about Lenares retiring, but Lenares said he retiring. My bad. Lenares said he retiring. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's about time. I done seen this dude get his ass whooped so many times, bro. You know, he definitely going to have something going on with it uh, going on up there. Trust and believe me, he definitely going he definitely going to have some little screws loose in his head. This dude face always cut easy. You know what I'm saying? Um always getting beat up in big fights. And I think Catterall before the fight said he's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, I don't know which Hall of Fame buddy he's going to be in, but Teach his own.
To each his own. To each his own. He ain't going to be in my Hall of Fame. No offense to him. He ain't a Hall of Famer. This it is what it is. We know we're not curving the scale. No, we're not bringing or to or Gotti into this debate. That dude ain't no Hall of Famer. No matter how much y'all want to slice the cake, how much you want to eat the cake, anime, anime, anime. He ain't no Hall of Famer. So y'all can say whatever the hell y'all want to say, he ain't no Hall of Famer. Sorry to break y'all break the news to y'all that way. But he had an amazing career, you know, world champion in multiple weight classes, I believe. Um, and, you know, he could ride off into the sunset. You know, you know, Catterall be the guy that pushed Lenares into the, the retirement home. But he should have threw his ass in there in a straight jacket and knocked him out. That's what I mean. But, hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. You want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Uh, check out the fire reaction playlist for more videos like this. Appreciate the love and support. Um, and let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section one time for one time. Good fella TV. Peace.